It's not too painful. Well, actually, wasn't too bad. I was expecting it to be worse, but when I don't do it every two weeks, it gets more painful. Let's talk about cheek lines. Where shall I my beard cheek line be? Where shall I define my cheek line? Where shall I shave my cheek line? How shall I trim my cheek line? These are all the questions that you guys been asking. I'm Carlos Costa, your beard brand alliance, and I'm gonna answer these questions for you guys. There's a couple of things that I wanna do in this video. First of all, is define where the cheek line should be. And the second one, I'm gonna use two different techniques to trim the cheek line. I'm gonna do one on the half on one half of my face and the other on the other half of the face. And at the end, I'm gonna let you know which one I think is best, works best for me and why. But you're also welcome to comment and let me know which one do you think is best. Right, so first things first, let's look at the cheek line. As you can see, there's a lot of growth here. There's a lot of um, sparse hairs around here. So yeah, so this is, I don't know, three, four weeks since I last done the last mustache thing and I've not done anything really there. So that's the growth. That's an untidy cheek line. You could say it's a natural cheek line, but let's see what a actual natural cheek line for people that have thick, coarse beard looks like. So this guy here, as you can see, it grows up there as well. However, this beard is so thick and dense that it looks cool. It looks natural. It's very low maintenance. Um, you can just trim it as normal with your trimmer and boom, you're done. Now, if you're a guy that has a beard like mine, the, it doesn't really grow much up here. There's one here when they're like, you know, they're very scattered around, if you like. It makes your face look untidy, it makes your beard look untidy. To define the, the line, I would go to this bit of the ear to my uh, sideburn and then angle it to the top of my lip there. So all that hair there, I don't need there. So that's how I would define my cheek line. From that point there to there and there. So you do a line from there to there to the top of your lip there, the corner just above the top of the corner just there if you have a patchy beard uh pretty much the same technique you gotta work with what you got so by doing exactly the same thing even though you might have like i have a patch here it's still when you cut the beard from there so the patch is is going to be less because you're taking a tiny bit of hair here which is going to actually give you a vision that the patch patch is as lessened. So anyway, let's see this in practice. I'm going to uh, use two different techniques. We're going to see which one looks the best. See you in a sec. So technique number one on trimming the cheek line is threading. It's a thing that I've been doing for, I don't know, I think the past decade I've been um, threading my cheek lines. Um, and I found actually throughout the period of time that I have less growth of air up here, which is what I wanted to achieve. So if you're looking for something like that, threading is your thing. Also, you achieve a nice natural um, line. It does hurt. However, if you do it every two to three weeks like I do, um, you kind of get used to it and the pain isn't so bad. Now, technique number two is what pretty much everyone else does. Use a trimmer uh, to achieve that line as we already defined where the line should be. So you achieve, with the trimmer, as you can see, you kind of leave that bits of stubble, which it still looks like your um, line is still untidy. Now, to achieve a better, sharper line, we use a razor. And with the razor, obviously, that disappears, so it looks better, looks defined, looks tidy. However, as you can see, I don't go with the razor up here. I don't wanna encourage any more growth there. So that, I would always thread, no matter what for me. But 
we concentrate on this bottom line here. All right, let's go over the pros and cons of both techniques. So the threading, you only have to do it two weeks. So that's amazing, saves a lot of time. Now, it is a bit painful. So that is the downfall to it. Uh, however, I don't mind that bit of paint just for a bit. You get red, but the red, once you apply moisturizer, get home, it disappears. So all good. With the shaving, if you're only using a trimmer, it's gonna still look untidy. If you then shave with a razor, it's gonna look a lot sharper, so it looks good. However, if you're like me, you'll have to do it pretty much every day, if not every other day. But for me, my beard grows quite quick. Uh, I would have to shave every day to achieve that line. All in all, for me, I would prefer threading. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but you can let me know in the comments. Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant. Grab it at beardbrand.com.